Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to tell you about a tool that has completely revolutionized my AI workflow. However, before we start, I would actually love it if you guys could leave a comment down below and let me know how many of you use any other AI tool beyond ChatGPT, or do you pay for ChatGPT, or have you heard of any other large language models beyond ChatGPT? That could be Google, that could be Claude. I'd really love to know. If you have heard of these tools, then this video is gonna be extremely interesting for you. If you haven't, I'm going to show you a way that you can level up how you use ChatGPT. So for those who don't know what the other models are, in addition to ChatGPT, the other major commercial models that we have are Google's Gemini, which is really, really good at having a long memory, giving it a ton of information and recalling from it. And while it did launch with some issues, it has improved quite a bit. Then you've got Perplexity, which is basically an AI search engine. And then you have Claude, which is oftentimes dubbed as the best competitor to ChatGPT, oftentimes performing better in a lot of the rankings. And then you have Grok, which is an ultra fast large language model. Then you have Mistral, which is one of the leaders of the open source, and you, you've got a whole bunch of models that keep coming out, but these are the most well-known ones. The big challenge is that if you are tied up with ChatGPT, it knows all of your stuff, you've got all those conversations with it, uh, not to mention you've got to pay additional subscription fees to use all of these other models. Well, today I'm going to show you guys a tool that lets you not only access all of these models in addition to ChatGPT, but actually chat to more than one model at the same time. This is incredibly powerful because if you're trying to do research for a project or getting an AI to write something for you and you're just not happy with what ChatGPT is giving, this will give you the opportunity to see the output from other AI models. And the best part, it's not only the same price, but it's actually cheaper than a single ChatGPT subscription. In fact, the value of all of this together comes out to about a hundred bucks and you're paying like a tenth of that, but we'll get into that later. And as an added cherry on top, this platform has an AI image generator, which if you're a frequent user of this channel, you'll know Flux, that is as good, if not better than Midjourney. So let's go check it out. So the platform in question is called Ninja Chat. If you do wanna sign up, please use the link down below. It really helps me out tremendously. Head on over to your dashboard and you'll be presented with a screen like this. And this is the default screen, which immediately allows you to grab four large language models. Uh, and you can see we have a massive selection here. We've got ChatGPT 4.0, we can grab Claude 3.5 Sonnet, uh, Facebook's Llama, and we can choose from Perplexity, Mistral, Gemini, Grok, etc. But what if you wanna test out more models? Well, up here, we can go to the six panel view, and this allows me to pick out six models. So let's grab Grok, and this is not the Twitter Grok. This is a different Grok, which is a hardware manufacturer that also has an AI model and let's grab Gemini up here. And here's where the cool part is. We can type in a prompt. Let's say you are an AI, you are a YouTube channel script writer for an AI channel, and I want you to prepare a script of about five minutes about a platform called Ninja Chat allows you to message multiple AIs at the same time. And not only do we get a response from all of these AIs, as you can see, it's blazingly fast. Uh, I'm not sure why Llama 3.1 Pro did not give me a response, but we've got a response for all of them. This is super powerful because as I said earlier, if you're not happy with the response you're getting from ChatGPT, you can actually look at and compare the responses from all the AI models, pick and choose what you like, and then feed it back to your favorite one to put together the script. Or you can understand what strengths each AI has. Maybe one is better for ideas, one is better for long form content, and you can mix and match how you use them. So here in the ChatGPT 401, it's broken it down for me by segment. Uh, I do find that ChatGPT tends to over sensationalize things. Uh, so it's not my favorite when it comes to script writing. So here we've got the Claude 3.5 Sonnet one. Uh, it's pretty good. I like how it's actually broken it down. I should have probably actually used this script. Uh, Gemini 1.5 Pro also did a pretty good job, although it is quite short. This is one of the challenges is that they do end up coming out quite short. Uh, in terms of length suggestions, um, GPT 4.0 did a better job. But yeah, I mean, you can see here how this could be incredibly powerful. But Ninja Chat doesn't just end there. It's not just a multi-AI tool. Uh, you've probably noticed over here on the side, we've got a bunch of other features. There is AI images, and this is what I was telling you, that it has a mid-journey competitor. So my personal favorite one uh, over here is Flux Dev, and uh, this AI model is as good, if not better, than mid-journey. And we're gonna grab something here. If you're, a, if you're a frequent visitor of this channel, 
uh, you'll know that we love using prompts from Prompt Crafters, which is this uh, prompt database that I use all the time. So I'm gonna grab some test image prompt and we're gonna see how it works. Oh, this is a cool one. So let's grab that, drop it in and boom, there you go. Easy way to use Flux. In addition to that, it's got another really cool tool, which is incredibly helpful if you're doing any kind of research project and so on, which is AI mind map. So we're gonna drop one in here. Let's grab large language models. And what this will do is it will generate a mind map for you, which is a fantastic starting off point for any kind of research project. You can elaborate on in one on each node, add more information and so on. And there we go. So we can see here from large language model, it breaks down into applications, ethical considerations, performance metrics, training data, architecture, and so on. And this is a great starting point for a mind map. You can manually add on more nodes to it if you like. You can delete them, move them around. You can edit them, you can split them, which then takes that node and breaks it down further. So this is a really good way to get a bird's eye view of any topic that you're researching, continue to break it down further and get all of the top level points that you need to dissect. Uh, and then you can go back and actually feed these into one of the AIs and get your report or your project fleshed out. It also has a chat with PDF feature. I'm not gonna get too much into this because this is fairly straightforward. It's something you can do with most AI models, even chat GPT, you drop in your PDF in there and you can ask it questions about it. What I am gonna jump to, and this is one of the features I absolutely love, is the writing library. This is so powerful and incredibly well done. What this allows you to do is it's got a whole bunch of parameters set up here where you can drop in pieces of text. They could be stories. If you're any kind of an author, this is so good. Uh, it helps you develop metaphors, look for plot holes. Um, you know, if you're writing a conflict, you can intensify it. A cliffhanger designer. In fact, uh, I will probably use this on my next video just so I can end on a cliffhanger. Uh, you know, adding an emotion to dialogue, character growth planner, Story world rule creator. So if you're into D&D, uh, I use this one all the time. If you're creating your own custom world, you kind of feed in the information and it'll help you plan out the rules. Uh, we're gonna try a couple of these now. Let's jump into the character growth planner. Okay, so let's say I wanna write a novel. Um, the main character is George. He is a young man who lives in a style fantasy world and is an orphan. Cliche, I know. He gets picked up by a wealthy merchant who aims to use him as an assassin and discard him. However, things do not go as planned and George seeks to take revenge for this treatment. Okay, something pretty simple. Uh, this could become an interesting story. Let's go ahead and generate and see what we get. Uh, and again, blazingly fast. So I just gave it a description of my character and the scenario, and it's given me here uh, a little bit of a background. Okay, it's decided to give him the current arc position. I probably should have specified at the beginning, but whatever, we can work with that. But desired growth, George seeks to evolve from a vengeful tool of the merchant into a self-aware individual who understands the value of life. Uh, we've got here a key moment described as a choice of mercy where George confronts the rival merchant and he's not the ruthless villain he expected. Not quite the direction I would have gone in, but nonetheless, this has set up a phenomenal framework for me to work with. And they've got a ton of these. You know, you've got an attention grabber one here. Um, me, an engaging title for a YouTube video on a tool called Ninja Chat that blows ChatGPT out of the water and allows me to use multiple AI models at the same time in addition to ChatGPT at a fraction of the price. Huh, not only is it giving me engaging titles, it's giving it to me for different target audiences. Um, if I had an A-B testing tool, I would absolutely be abusing these. I mean, some of them do suffer a little bit of ChatGPT-ness, which is kind of that sensationalism, discover ninja, the multi AI marvel that beats chat GPT at a fraction of the cost. Uh, but some of these are pretty good. I like this one, chat GPT who? I like that one. I might use that one for this video. Uh, ninja chat, the ultimate AI tool that outshines chat GPT. Yeah, okay, that works. So each of these uh, are structured in such a way that they make the most out of your prompt and give you back the feedback. And that's ninja chat. So if you're interested, uh, the prices look kind of like this. Uh, the starter plan is $9 a month with 1,000 AI-powered messages, 30 image generations, uh, and you get access to all the AI models. 
Uh, if you want a little bit more usage for 18 a month, you get 5,000 messages, 100 image generations, and then you've got the expert tier at 25. And once again, just by comparison, ChatGPT Plus is 20 bucks. Gemini Pro is another 20 bucks and you gotta get that one terabyte tier uh, to use it. Mid Journey is another 25 bucks. So, I mean, just by paying for one of these tools at the $25 level, you got all of these AI models, you got a image generator that competes with Mid Journey. It doesn't get better than this. And once again, if you guys wanna use a tool, please use my link down below. Yes, it is an affiliate link, so it does help me out. And yes, I do really actually use this tool all the time. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comment section below or come over to my Discord. Uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions about the tool, the platform, how I use it. And if you found this helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.